Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about some of the properties in mathematics, especially when we deal with addition and multiplication. For example, the numbers a plus b, is that the same as the numbers b plus a? Well, it turns out it is because of the commutative property, which means we can move numbers around, we can move the a last and b first, and we get the exact same result. As an example, 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3. That's considered to be the commutative property. In other words, we can move the numbers in the addition around. Same with multiplication. We can say that a times b is the same as b times a, again, because we can move numbers around. Think of commute as moving, as commuting, and so therefore we can move or commute the numbers around and we get the same result. 3 times 5 is indeed the same as 5 times 3. The associative property means that we can group things together. We can associate or group things together in different ways and it should not make any difference. When we add numbers together, a plus b plus c, we can first do p, b plus c before we add a to it or we can add a plus b before we add c to it. That's what we mean by associative property. We can associate or group numbers together. As an example, 3 plus 5 plus 7 is the same as 3 plus 5 plus 7. It doesn't matter which we do first. Again with multiplication, the same is true. The associative property means we can group numbers together first. We can multiply b times c first before we multiply that times a, or we can multiply a times b first before we multiply it times c. As an example, 3 times 5 times 7 is the same as 3 times 5 times 7. You will always get the same result. And that's what we mean by the commutative property or associative property for addition and multiplication.